Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War for the Xbox Series X. It's going to be in 120 frames per second at 4K and it has ray tracing. This game looks and plays fantastic. In this video, I'll be talking about my gameplay experiences as well as going through a game mode comparison of it being on and off. And I'll tell you how I feel about the latency overall and if it really affects you like it does when it's in 60 hertz. So stick around because we'll get into that right now. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. My name is produced by KG. On this channel, we do videos on TVs, technology, and video games. So if you like any of that stuff, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. So in these clips, I'll be playing in multiplayer right now. And at 120 frames per second, the difference between that and 60 is night and day. So you really have to play it to, to feel what it really feels like. There was a majority of reaction shots where I had to quickly turn and see somebody there. It really was a joy to play in 120 hertz. I have to say, like, I had VRR on and I barely really noticed it working. I think this game is a rock solid 120 frames per second in multiplayer, which is really cool. And if you are having issues with VRR and you want to play this game, just go ahead and turn VRR off because it will work. Now, uh, one of the coolest things that I've discovered while playing this game is I just went ahead and turned off game mode for a little bit. And I wanted to see how that felt. Now, if I turned off game mode while in 60 hertz playing Call of Duty, I would have a really, really bad time. And it wouldn't. It would not be fun. I'd be missing shots all over the place. I wouldn't be able to accurately aim. It would just be very sluggish and I would feel the latency completely 100%. However, in 120 hertz mode, I really did not see that latency or feel it as much. I, I honestly can't say I felt it. So I'm not going to try to sit here and say that 120 hertz outside of game mode will feel the same as game mode. I can't say that, but what I can say is that I really couldn't tell the difference. When I play in 60 hertz outside of game mode, I automatically can tell the difference. It's slow, It's there's so much latency, and I just don't. I won't even play a third person RPG or anything like that outside of game mode just because I could feel the latency. So I definitely wouldn't play like a Twitch shooter like Call of Duty outside of game mode. But... At 120 hertz, I think it would be fine to play these games. So a lot of people really don't like game mode. And that's fine. Because now if you have an Xbox Series X, you could just put your console at 120 hertz output the whole time and sit outside of game mode. Granted, you won't have VRR. But if VRR is something you don't really care for too much anyway, then go ahead and just try it. I know there was a lot of people that told me that they love the way that movie mode looks because of the ability to go to high local dimming. And I think a lot of people are going to try to turn off game mode now with 120 hertz. And it's absolutely fine to do that now. And I actually played in filmmaker mode and I thought that looked fantastic. Now I gotta say though, there's times where I really thought game mode just looked better than movie mode. I really want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below what mode you think looks better in this video. Do you like movie mode better or do you like game mode better? All right, so pay attention to the footage in the background because it will be saying if I am in game mode or outside of game mode. And this is going to be a majority of the multiplayer footage. Most of it will be in game mode, but the time that I am outside of it, you'll be able to see that latency really didn't have too much effect on me as far as aiming and movement goes. And that's something that I could never say when I was in 60 hertz outside of game mode. So overall, I don't know how much latency is being added outside of game mode, but I gotta say it's way, way, way less than 60 hertz was. So 
effectively when you go from 60 hertz output to 120 hertz output what you're doing is you're cutting your latency in half for game mode at least it's dropping from 10 milliseconds to 5 milliseconds on the input lag so really what we need to find out is what's happening when we go outside of game mode to 120 hertz is that just cutting that 60 hertz latency in half because if that's the case then we are running at 30 to 35 milliseconds which in reality isn't that much as far as input lag goes i think like the older tvs not even that old used to have game modes that were at about 30 milliseconds and most of the people really didn't have too many problems with that anyway in fact, I think that Vizio's game modes are actually in 20 milliseconds at 35 milliseconds. That's not too much than the actual game mode in most TVs. So if that is the case and that's what's happening is your latency is getting cut in half, then that would make sense why it feels like that. Now, I still can't tell the difference between being outside of game mode and being inside of game mode as far as latency goes outside of game mode could be running at a better latency than 35 milliseconds. I'm just kind of trying to make sense of everything. And right now, unless somebody has a way to test this, I have no idea. Okay, now let's say you got both consoles. Which console should you buy this game for? I think it's really going to boil down to your preferences. If you like the PlayStation controller more, get it for the PlayStation. If you like it for the Xbox more because of the controller layout, get it for the Xbox. There's no real reason to get it over the other consoles except for this. If you really want to take advantage of your new PlayStation 5 controller, then you really might want to look into getting this game for the PlayStation 5 because it does have haptic controller feedback built into the game. And there is going to be times where the controller will adjust the triggers to the actual recoil of the gun. Now, I haven't actually experienced this myself, but I've been reading about it and it sounds really cool. I really wish I would have gotten to experience this game on the PlayStation 5. However, I did buy it on the Xbox Series X because I mainly just like the controller layout better for multiplayer. All right, in the background here, we're gonna do a comparison of the start on the campaign for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. This is going to be the single player campaign and the intro video kind of just playing out. And I'm going to cut it in half. We're going to see the right side of the screen for both modes. And we're going to do game mode on the left and outside of game mode on the right. And you can let me know exactly how you guys feel about this. Okay, so on the left we have game mode and on the right we have movie mode. Tell me what you guys think in the comments, which one you prefer the most. You know, to me, I actually do like game mode better here, but I could also see why people like movie mode better. Overall, I gotta say that I think that the difference is not as huge as people are making it out to be. And in all fairness, this is definitely after the new patch, which I think has made game mode even better. And every patch that Samsung has put out has made game mode better. The only downside to game mode is that you don't have the full range use of full array local dimming. And that's it. You can only go up to normal and you can never get to high on game mode. So if people do want to get to high local dimming and have that full use of the full array local dimming then using it in movie mode is absolutely going to be fine anyway here's the rest of the comparisons and i just want to wrap it up by saying i think call of duty black ops cold war is a fantastic game um, for a launch title and one of the games that you should pick up if you are a fan of first person shooters I think that the multiplayer is definitely fun for Call of Duty fans, uh, though I have to admit it is going to be more of the same old, same old sort of situation. A lot of times kill streaks will feel very overpowered, and when you are on a lopsided team, that's just going to feel really bad, and it might make you want to quit. So you got to keep that in mind if you're not somebody that really enjoys that side of 
multiplayer where it can be really lopsided and I can't blame you for feeling that way then you might not like the multiplayer as much however I gotta say there is a lot to do in multiplayer there is another mode being added which is a more of a big team mode and that seems like it could be a lot of fun there's vehicles involved in that as well and then of course they brought back the black ops zombies mode which is one of the fan favorites and a lot of people will enjoy co-oping with their friends and playing call of duty zombies i think overall it's fantastic and so far the campaign is really fun it is really cool and i'm really digging the old vibe to this this is very very awesome there's a lot of callbacks in this game and so far it seems to be a really great campaign anyway guys i just want to thank you for watching i hope you did discover that you can play outside of game mode now and i hope that makes a lot of you happy um stay tuned for more videos i have a black friday video coming soon which is going to feature a bunch of different technology uh including tvs and what the best deals are on Black Friday. So I'm really looking forward to putting that video out. Probably Thursday or Friday. So stay tuned for that. On top of that, I'm going to have a Demon Souls PlayStation 5 video. So that is one that I have been looking forward to making. Because the game is absolutely fun. It is fantastic. Though I have to admit, it is kicking my butt a little bit. So make sure you're tuned in for all of that. And if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications if you want to be notified when I upload a video. I got a bunch of content for you guys and it's just not going to stop. So thank you as always. Please like this video, share it on social media or forums if you can. And thank you for watching and have a good day.